right the Bridgetown public market as well as fish market. Oh, look at that. Now, Bridgetown was established in 1628, almost a year after the British first colonized the island Barbados. It was named for a crude wooden bridge left over from the original inhabitants of the island, and they were Amerindians, the Awawaks. Now, when the first Europeans got here, the Awawaks were already gone. Now, Bridgetown, back then, the streets were at a level three feet lower. And, more importantly, for us in Bridgetown, it's on the list of UNESCO World Heritage Sites. The majority of the buildings come from the 17th, 18th, and 19th centuries, constructed using coral stone or limestone. The island is a coral island, so lots of coral and limestone would have been widely available. Bridgetown was also once mostly swamp. Back in 1854, approximately 25,000 or a quarter of our population would have died from cholera. Now we are presently on the main shopping street, which is called Bridge uh, Broad Street. The majority of our banks, as you can see, are from Canada. Now when we get to the end of Broad Street, this is Broad Street. We to Trafalgar Street. First of all, you'll get a glimpse of Lord Admiral Nelson, his statue, erected on the 22nd day of March, 1813. So that makes it almost 30 years older than Nelson's column in Trafalgar Square, England. You will also get a glimpse of our neo-Gothic parliament buildings constructed in the 18th century. So, earlier, Trafalgar Square on my right, with the statue of Lord Nelson, the Parliament buildings constructed also out of coral stone on the left. Correct. There's a cenotaph, and that's just commemorating the soldiers who would have fought in the First and the Second World War. The beautiful water fountain was there since 1865 when we first had running water in the city. So this is a beautiful old town. Now here in Bridgetown, we have now two bridges. Uh, Shortly, Chamberlain Bridge. And once you look to your right, you'll see the Indian Bridge or the Independent Bridge, which is where the British found that crude wooden bridge left over from the Awawaks. Now, also in Bridgetown is the oldest Jewish synagogue, this part of the Western Hemisphere, the Lead Israel, or Scattered of Israel. It was built in 1654, wow. and over a beautiful natural spring and filled with clear water is the only big spot this part oh, of wow. the Western Hemisphere. So Bridgetown is indeed a very historic city. So the Corinthage and Indian Bridge on the right, this is the Chamberlain Bridge. Right here, the Fairchild Street bus terminal. Today being Thursday, you'll find more sidewalk vendors than normal. Look, they have the cassava, they have the ginger, the tania, the sweet potatoes, the edos, and the cooking bananas, lemons. So it gives it a little African feel. Now, here, Fairchild Street bus terminal. Bridge and up to the sea. This is the 
constitution we work on and that. Now, for the most part, because the island is a coral island, our rivers are on the ground. This one flows from all the way to the center of the island. Close to where we be having our first stop. So it flows on the ground and it breaks the surface. It breaks down, eventually going out to the sea. Now the building straight ahead of us is our public hospital, the Queen Elizabeth. And the hospital opened its doors in 1964, replacing the old General Hospital, which became too small. The Queen Elizabeth Hospital has 800 beds. We have a relatively good health system, similar to that of the United Kingdom and the National Health System. Health insurance is available, but not necessary. We also have a private hospital here in the city, which 